Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. The what is going on guys? Mephone, and uh, along with the ever cruise commentators, we're back again for the NBA Playoffs of the game. And right now, we decided to bring someone back. It's Silver Spoon! Oh yeah, thank you very much, uh, Silver Spoon and Son of Bees! Thanks for joining me back in here. Oh, no problem anytime, but that's for me, phone's idea. So, he's the commentator, he will be able to take it from here. I think the sideline. It's a lot of hard work in it, and a dumb girl, right? Well, it's the playoffs of the game. You know, I'd love to see that one. What's the next matchup we got? We have the Toronto Raptors and the Boston Celtics. It's the battle of the third seed versus the sixth seed. As this one turns out to be up and overranked here as Toronto Raptors move up by one, one seed behind the other team of the Cavaliers. As we already see the Bucks and the Cavs. Bucks already won the second game, or the first game. And same thing with the Grizzlies with the first game. But now, they might be a little bit in between the changeup if we're looking for another way around the board. Right now, Boston Celtics are going to try to fix their way to hit up the boards if they are looking for a chance to hit their run. Here are the starting lineups. Take you from here, there, Silver Spoon. Sure thing, Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., Oak Ananobi, Scotty Bonds and Pascal Siakam. And my other side of the take of Celtics is Marcus, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum. He's still doing very well on the court. Al Horford and Robert Williams. Now it's time to bring you to Boston at the TD Garden Arena. Let's bring it off to the number game matchup of the night. Let's take you from here for the next playoff match. And speaking of this one, I went to Boston so far, but we didn't go to the Boston uh, downtown section because we didn't have time. It's a long way down, and it's a hard way to make it travel. Here's Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said I can guard bigs, so I started making a joke. I'm a stretch six. Forget a stretch five. My teammates loved it, and it just stuck with me. He added, I'm the youngest of four boys, so I've been up against bigger guys. For me, that means nothing. Kevin? Thank you very much, sir, D.A. And here are the uh, rest of the uh, Eastern Conference standing right down this point. We have a lot of uh, moment to take it from the other lane of Boston to try to make the win. It's very hard for them to try to uh, make their run even smooth at the TV Garden Arena. But this one may be very hard to get right in the lane. The starting lineups are currently on the board as Siakam and Robert Williams are the key matchups in the center guards. Other players, including Scotty Barnes, Jason Tatum, and then we have, of course, Nick Nurse, the head coach for the Toronto Raptors. He's still in good condition here to play to help them out for the Raptors. This plays are definitely here in West now. Well, I'm not even surprised about that. I think there might be a great place to be here. The tip it off, and Raptors will win it from here as we start things in Boston. All fueled up, and we're ready to go. Trent Jr. finding a look on Van Bleek against Smart. He wraps around with the shot. It's no good. It's Smart with the rebound and turn around the other way. Robert Williams to Tatum. Now he will switch off to Hal Horford. And here's Roy Will Robert Williams. Pass back to Horford. He goes in, drive the paint, and this will be the first bucket for Horford. Last time with the OKC Funders, it didn't really work him out. So he decided that he said, nah, I'm gonna return back to Boston. I think everybody loves me the most in Boston of the game. I think that might be a better idea to help them out to bring him here. And yeah, definitely true, you know? 
It's a lot more harder than you can than you, you can bet. Brown finds Horford. Horford breaks a Tatum. Now he goes to Robert over Siakam, and it's rebounded by Siakam. Siakam taking the first rebound here in Toronto, and now here's Trent Jr. cuts in the ball cross, and this will be an assist by OG, or Oak Ananobi. Williams right to Smart. Three-pointer for Brown. Hey, can you bet? Three-pointer is raising up high, and Brown will take the first three-pointer of the game. Right? And it looks like Jalen Brown is doing really well. I don't know what you can tell, you, tell but uh, it's very well done. Smart on the attack, inside, and it's all in there for hands on Smart. He gets the first bucket here as we are approached down to four minutes to play. Trent Jr. Inside, right around it, and he will put them right in the layup in the paint. Boston Celtics still up by one. In ahead is Orford. Now the screen will be Robert Williams. Trying to find Williams. Up around, and it makes a shot. Robert Williams takes the first one in. Of course, he's around us to four games to the last time since 2020 as he played his most careers before. But now, this is a rematching take since they met here in the second round. Smart lines breath. Bounce pass to Robert Williams. Pass is broken up. Ananobi takes a steal. Trent Jr. on the run. The attack, Van Leek. He puts it to the slot, and it's taken away by Robert. Here's Tatum, slam it down. Jason Tatum gets his first dunk, and they are pulling up a good effort here to start the quarter. Jason Tatum is not just the only man that he can definitely try to handle it, but his moment is day is coming to his life. Van Vliet on Marcus Smart. With the shot, it's rebounded by Smart. And now this turns around the airway. Horford right to Williams. Rejected. It's uh, another Raptor uh, to steal. And the Celtics turnover. Now it's Trent Jr. on an Obi on the Tatum. Siaka broking it up at the screen. And a free pointer is raising up high. It's tied up by 11. I am not sure what to say, but this could be very tricky. Really, really don't think that may not be that well enough. Jason Tatum up, oh, he makes a shot, and a two-pointer saves him from the fall on the trap. There is no fall from the trap because that is what they have done here so far. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess, I think, I think you're right. There isn't falling any trap. Can't let it happen. And another great uh, rebound, and oh, they're fighting it for a good. Smart. Brown with the fade. Back to Brown. Now he rolls to Horford. Inside the paint. Stepping in there, no problem at all. Now Horford has got a second bucket. And for Jalen Brown with the assist. Timeout called by Toronto with a minute and 11 to go. It's 15 to 11. They haven't gotten a lot much better. Not playing the worst. I hope this might be another game here that we can try. Now, I'm not a Toronto person. I'm not a Raptor guy. I am Son of Beast. So do not confuse me wrong. For those of you who are on YouTube and already subscribed, listen. I, my name is Son of Beast. Or I am also known as Basketball Unleashed with the with the claw. So I can also be the claw of the Son of Beast. So don't call me the Raptor, okay? I'm watching all of you. Anyways, you know being said, take it back to you, Mayphone. Thank you so much.
New changes are being released here for the Toronto and the Boston Celtics. Four players are checked out as Ananubi stays in the court. Mahal you, pop up the shot. Oh my goodness! Somebody has put it back in there and they are trying to work their way around the attack. I didn't see that play. It looks like that bridge took it back. He looks like he says, I got you, and he says, thank you. I didn't really see that one. Tatum, right back to Williams. He drives up, and it's good. Williams has got his first bucket, and they are up by four. Now turning around the airway is Achua. Williams on the cover, man. And it's Pritchard with the steal. Here's the fast break. Williams slows it down a bit. Tatum with the ball. Back to Williams. Now he goes right to Feist. Feist with the shot. It's no good. That's it. Goes off target on the elbow. Flynn with the ball. Five to shoot. Screen on Achua. Buzz Beater, can he make it? It's Nafe. He did not make the shot. And the first quarter ends it here. 17 to 13 run on the ball game of the playoffs. We'll be right back after this one. We approach right now to the second quarter as we start things here in Boston, uh, Massachusetts. Those plays can definitely be hard enough that uh, I like to see them. But I think there might be a lot more than we have here. But sometimes, I think the players could definitely do a lot much better than they had here last time, since they couldn't be able to answer their run here in the first round. I think they will pursue their way to the second round. For those of us who are joining here, we'd like to make a sign thanks for joining us, and we are back in the game for the second quarter. Feist has got a first bucket here, and he is on the board. Daniel Feist really has got a nose, knows that he could definitely try to work their way around a bit. Since they failed with playing with the Houston Rockets, he decided to switch it back to Boston, and he did make the choice to try to help their run. A steal by Pritchard. Pritchard for three. Good. That's a first three-pointer for Pritchard. And they are pulling it on their way to make them escape. Flynn on Pritchard. With the step back. Trying to roll their way around. I don't know beyond Tatum. Back to Achua. But hell you go boy. With the three. Hey, how are you? No good. As this one turns around the other way for the Celtics to go back behind. White right to Williams. Williams back to White. And he pulls the back across to Pritchard. The drive in and he made it. Pritchard has got another bucket. That will be the first two bucket score for the Celtics. Pritchard is really doing a lot much better. I don't know what to say about last season, but you know this is like a lot of like a hard work out there. You gotta keep going. No, you for three. And that was taken off away by, by the number three-pointer off the range. As Tatum with the ball, he has the ball. Now he goes right over to White. Tatum in pursuit. Finding over his Tefice. Fates, right to Pritchard, moves in, scores, and he makes another drag in. As Spice takes the assist, Tana goes on Toronto. They don't think he's doing any well done here. I hope he gets another chance for him, if you like to take it back when he ever lane. So far, I haven't just really seen what this game is all about, but if you really wanted to get this uh, game better, you know, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of working on the momentum inside the drive, but you really do not want this to happen because that it's going to be off uh, out of luck. Now some new changes are being lifted off here for the Raptors and the Celtics. Five players are checked back in: Siaka, Barnes, Young, Trent Jr., and Van Vliet. And also the other five turning in. Oh, Brown 
Oh, he miscommunicated that, and Siaka goes down after he hits a dunk. He's dunking all crazy out there moments. It, it really helps him to make him score much better with the drive. He can't be out there late tatting up the ball. He really needs to go for the run. White in the wing. Shot clock to five. Brown in the head for a free throw and he had it all. Jalen Brown taking a number two. And they were trying to pursue the extension of the lead. Brown on Trent Jr. Pass to Trent. I'm sorry, it was uh, it was Barnes. I was kept forgetting what it is. Oh, no worries, you'll be fine. Barnes for the two. Rebounded by Young. Inside, and he goes in there as a number two pointer and gets it back. Digging in there is Smart. He goes right to Feiss. Feiss! Back over to Horford. Now he rolls to White. White in the transition out. The man double. And a great help here on by Young. 28 to 17 to score in the first half. We're not sure what will happen here for the next shot. Barnes and the attack. That's Feist taking away. Over with two on one. And foul off the shot. It's Trent Jr. with the foul. And this will be going for another two pointer free throw for White. That's another team foul turning up here for Toronto. They really can't let that happen. But that is a lot of hard working out there. They really got to work their way around. I can see that uh, Derek White has a lot of uh, has a uh, mo motivation. I think he's going to be doing a hero right. White hits the first free throw, and now it's Robert Williams checking in for Feist. They will now reset it up again. And a second free throw is good. Two Only two minutes to play here in the first half of the game. It's 30 to 17. Now Barnes on Brown. Trent Jr. in the wing on White. Try to work the steal, but it won't be taking off to pick up the run. Another rebound by White, another miss by Toronto. It's 30 to 17 on the board. Brown finds White. He goes in, driving front. Not a problem at all. As White takes another layup drive and he scoops it up. That's a great help here on offense. That is just a killer on the move. Trent Jr. to Van Vliet. Up to Siakam. Robert Williams in a spin, and he doesn't hit that one. White in the attack, and a foul is called by Trent Jr. Second team foul for Toronto, and two uh, second personal foul. And the last 40 days of a rebound, it was Brown in the lead. They have a lot of movement out there. A great lead off, a great change. Interesting. It's a lot harder when you think, but I know that it's a lot that hard, even if you don't see anything. That might be a great look. That first free throw is sent in here. Boucher will be able to take it in here as Young is out and on the bench. We know that Boucher really has gotten a, a lot much better here. Let's see what he can do here after playing with the finishing career of play-in tournaments of the regular season to postseason. 
And that's a number of made free throw for White. Almost about to be done for the first half. Here is Trenton Jr. Jr. in the run. Stopping the momentum is another one for Al Horford. Now White. Right over to Smart. Back to Horford. Right to Williams. And around about that time. Robert Williams making another dominated run performance run. And they are still extending the lead. So Siakam goes with the slam, and they are just trying to go back in that play. Al Horford to Robert Williams. Back to Horford. Smart. Up. And its shot is off the mark. You don't want to take that risk here, and with that time, you don't want to leave the messing behind you. If you miss the shot and off the rim, you're going to need to try to do some fadeaway shots to hit the run. And he don't pick up on that play. White with the rebound, and Smart will have the ball. He will, White will have it. And White will hold on to the ball as the first half is over. 36 to 19 is your score. The Boston Celtics are on an incredible start here of their run. But we'll be right back after this break. In a lot of moments, but stick with us later then. Thank you very much. We'll be right back after this. Time for the first half of the recap of Celtics and Raptors. On the board. That's it for now. Let's head you back here to TD Garden Arena. Welcome back to the TD Garden Arena as we're about to start the third quarter. It's 36 19 as they are extending the lead to hit their run. There might be their time, but there might be more for the Raptors if they can try to answer it back. We'll see how we can get there close here, Mifo. And I bet that if most of the players get there in time, there might be some, uh, some good old changes. I don't know what to say, but there might be a lot hard to try to pick up the win. I don't know, we with the steal after being bad released on Boston Celtics. And a steal, Brown, all alone. You bet. You bet Brown has got a dunk. Oh, wow, Brown is like just a smoother. The steal and the jump. I bet the agreement would definitely be true. You know what happens again. And here's the two on one attack coming in. What a play, Jason Tatum. With a nice releasement and Brown with the assist. You know that Brown was going to keep an eye on? He was looking for the offensive players to try and get right in there. Van Vliet, not alone enough, but he has gotten another bucket, and now be four points. Robert Williams, fine, smart. Smart, right to Brown. Now he rolls up to Williams, back to Smart. Finds over to Tatum, five to shoot. In from the free throw line, and it's not going to be in there in time. Another miss here for the Boston, and a dunk, oh! Adenobi has gone slamming from here. Now I guess there's revenge time in between uh, Jalen Brown and Adenobi. Watch out for trouble. Brown, oh man, he is just getting there started for the second half of the game. 
And just like that before with the dunk, he really knows he can handle it through. Got throw and release him with the block of air ball. It's Robert Williams. Now he goes right to Smart. Back over to Al Horford. Around the end, Horford, short, and it will keep the Celtics ball back into the game. Now he will stop the clock here as new changes are coming in. Achua and Mikhailuk are checked in for the Raptors. And one more block here from Robert Williams for Mobile One Block. Room Mobile One Block did sure come in. It's just really got better. I'm hoping there's another way to keep my eyes on them. And I think there might be another block here coming in by. We could see them coming. Brown with the ball. He now goes right to Tatum. Tatum in pursuit. Hey, he makes it. No foul called on the Raptors, and that will be eight points for him tonight. Jason Tatum really knows that he has known a secret, but I think he might need to do is go for the attacker. Another rebound here for the fights on the Boston Celtics. Only three time to go. Brown on the player of Mahayu. Tatum outside. Now he goes right over to Feist. Feist with the drive and the foul is called on the Chua. First foul turning up again, another team foul on Toronto. Under three minutes to play in the third quarter. You can see that Daniel Feist has not them in. It's getting be better. Not really sure what you can try to fix, but you know, once the player is definitely getting there, you know it gets there better. Daniel Feist shooting at the free throw line, shooting two, and maybe he's going to try to pick up another two pointer if he gets in there just in time. Feist takes the first free throw. Second free throw for Daniel Feist is cranking it in there. With a lot much attacker, they really do not want to uh, move it around that much because if you do, then the other players are going to score in the drive. And a great pass here for Van Lee as Young takes another two-pointer range in the, in that bucket. Now Pritchard will throw right across to Williams. Now he goes right to Feist. Williams. Back to Tatum, fades, right to Tatum, fights, and fights, scores inside the paint. It's Tatum with the assist. Do you notice that Daniel fights can do better? I think he might do it a lot much harder than he was looking for. Achua, ranging from the other side of the court, and they are pulling the attack out there. Williams right to fights. Back to Pritchard. Three-pointer for Williams. Good! With an outstanding run, they are still extending the lead. Ho, ho, ho. I know this is starting out that right. I'm not sure how they can get the But maybe they might be doing a lot much better. Fights. Deep pass over to Brown. Right back to Tata. And rolling over to Feist. Didn't really help him out with the open look. Now he finds Feist. Up over, and it's missed again. Flynn with the ball. They're still trailing with a lot of points behind. And another takeaway by Williams. Brown, right to Tatum. Tatum, in pursuit with a chain shot. Price with taking the ball back. They're only down to 10 to shoot. Williams with the ball. Five to shoot. Need to get a shot open look. And he's fouled by Flynn. 
That will be a second team foul to fourth team foul for Toronto Raptors. Flynn with the first personal foul, and now shooting two free throws will be another one to keep your eyes on. Now it's Pritchard at the free throw line. Pritchard hits the first free throw. You know, I wouldn't comply if there's another chance here. If there's another change up here that we're looking for, maybe I might be uh, heading into that one. You think? Well, if they could do it, I mean, I don't have to lie. I can just definitely know what's going to happen now with the next one. We know there's no Kemba Walker, and there is no other player for Aaron Bart Baines. That might be very tough for him to get by. Here's Ananobi back to Van Vliet. Only 45 seconds to play in the third quarter. Mahayu for three. That will count. And they are trying to answer back quickly before the game clock expires. White reaches up across. And he did get him. Pulling the ball up, trying to hold away. Fights right to Williams. Williams inside. And the foul is on Boucher. Six team fouls being thrown out for Toronto, and now this is going to be another foul trouble. Now shooting two for the Celtics. It will be it will be Williams. Twenty five seconds to play in the third quarter. First free throw, didn't able to sell them by. With all the game I know he just did, there's two Williams and I'm not sure which one who it is. Oh, that's Robert Williams on that side, on the bench. And this one, I think it was, uh, hmm, Javante Williams. I don't know if I said it correct, but, uh, you know, I'm not the only one, I'm not the only guy who's perfect. <laughs> You're not the only one who's perfect, but there might be a chance. Oh, Tatum, knocking the block away. What a play here for Tatum, and a drive, oh my. White on the pursuing run, he really got into it. Van Vliet, screen, it rejects away. Three-pointer no good, and they will have to close the third quarter. Oh, Tatum could have made the half-court shot, but it won't be enough to get there in time. And now, the next score turning to be a last quarter left. It's 55-30. to 30. We'll be right back. It's time now for the State Farm Assistant again. I'm pretty sure there's another way that we can get there for. My take is the Celtics one. Who really turned out to play odd than I knew before. But sometimes, it definitely does well. What a play. Most of them are able, able to play from this answer. I know they definitely did. Red and white, red and green colored of the Christmas of those, those colors of the uniforms? Man. Who really wants to know about that one? I, I, I think there might be a great idea to go red or go green. You never know. It may be it may be one of them. I couldn't guess it more, but you're gonna find out. Oh, he didn't stop slowing down. No foul called on the Celtics. And that was Trent Jr. that had pulled up a dotted run of the dunk. White on the attacker. Find smart. Smart right to white. Shot fade over to Cornet. Cornet roll around the back, and that will be White with the assist. Another one for Derek White. He really knows that he can do well much, much better than he had that he has ever played on his domination of the season. In the attack, try to cover it from the loose angle out there. It's it's Banton. Trent Jr. for three. And it's no good. Cornet. 
with the first rebounder finds Pozzo. Now Hauser will face back to White. Smart moving to Horford. The Celtics are moving in with another transition to go from trick to trick. And White hurries in for the layup drive. And another two pointer for White. This really means to be a lot to us. They've really done a lot of hard job and competitions out there without being wrapped up in the same spot like they did before. Block the pass. Smart with the ball. What a just, what a smart move. Great defense. A lot of great ones here with the defensive smack and takeaway on the puck. They deflected out, no problem. Hauser inside, and he has definitely got a first bucket. Another one for two, Birch, and yeah, that was him. You know he calls for Birch. They really have done a lot. After with a tough loss of the shot, he put it back in there and says, I have you covered. That may be one word at a time. And deflect by Boucher. Free for Smart. That's good. Smart on a dominated run, and they are extending the lead. Yeah, those guys are definitely having fun out there. They really got a lot better. Boucher to Banton, and Banton scoops it in to make the layup drive complete better. Three minutes here for the fourth quarter as White takes it around the other way. Horford past the corner. Right back to Horford. Now with Smart. Another three. No good. That's another miss here for Boston Celtics. Banton with the ball. Now he will try to work their way around a bit to find another offensive player. Finds Birch. Right to Trent Jr. White uncovering. Five to shoot. They gotta get better out there. Get a shot. Rebounded up by Corner. And another one is taking over again. White on the other side of the court. Didn't want to take the eight second violation. Finds Cornet. Smart pass. That's another one for White. Cornet has got a second bucket in this game. And we're in under two minutes to play. They really got a lot of great offense here. Oh, wow. I like to see what this game turns around to be the other side. Smart. Again. Now he goes right to corner, and it's bad pass here as this one broken's up. Trent Jr. in the wing to the corner. Pass to Banton for three. And that will scoop it in there with a number three point shot. Trent Jr. with the assist. Smart with the ball. Pass to Hauser. Hauser right back to Smart. Smart right to White. And with the shot up, it's off and very late. They didn't really care about it to try to fix it up a bit. Trent Jr. on white. Screen on Boucher, and it's offensive foul. Second personnel, and there is no team foul for the Toronto Raptors. Now the new change up here for the Raptors and the Celtics. There's another change up here as Young and Mihaliuk will be checking in. Now, the other changeup is Stavskos. I don't see Stavskos on the board. I don't know what to say about them. But they really know it better. Nesmith back to Stavskos. Stavskos stopping the movement out here with the, with the tough shot. Here's Birch. And he goes in. Tack that move and he goes with a dunk. Birch really does slam it here. Just three dunks. Only one wood and one behind. You're not gonna let this happen? Well, don't give up. Pritchard right over to Nesmith. Nesmith with the shot. Releasement is not in time as the number of turnoff goes in on the Raptors. 
and a drive, Benton slamming in the board, and that will conclude here for the first game of the season for the postseason. Burchard with the ball, and he will hold it up from here. Your final score is 66 to 43. Celtics win the first game in the series. They've done a very nice job here. I know they've done a great job. With all that play, they have won. It's just how hard if you need to know, but that is what they have played. And with closing off the game, let's take you over to Ali LaForce on the other side. Ali. Sorry, David. Thanks very much, Al. You guys do it as a five-man unit on the floor. How did you come together for this win? Uh, just taking good shots on offense, um, trying to, you know, getting stops on defense. Uh, we challenge every shot. Um, you know, just, just played hard tonight. Great effort and a big one, Al. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you, David. So and thank you so much for watching for this part. And Silver Spoon, thanks for coming back out here with us again. It's great seeing you, and I think you have it all on the board here. It's turned out great. It's great we haven't seen you guys for the postseason, and also the centerpiece as well. You're the man. <laughs> I know. And yours too, anyway. Right now, Boston Celtics lead the series 1 0. That's right. Now let's present the three star players of the game, starting with number three. I'm going to say that this all turned out to be just quite authentic out there. And I know that Delano Banton really have gotten better at that point. A dunk? Really quite often. Just one. And only one turned out to be just a turnover, two assists, and seven points. Let's take your here for number two, Mifo. Thank you. Number two, we call that one. And the Celtics got Jalen Brown with a dunk, nine points, four assists, and a two steals at each game of the periods of first and second half. Really need to know how this turned out, but I think they all really like Jalen Brown that much. And yours truly, they definitely did a great work on the run. A lot of transition out there, Jalen Brown. I see you. All right, centerpiece. You're up now. Number one, Derek White. Ten points, three rebounds, four assists. It wasn't really that tough for him if he was going to try to sell things up. Not without playing with the San Antonio Spurs, but now he likes to give it up from here to take a number one on the other hand. And that will do it from here. Thank you very much for watching this game of the NBA Playoffs. Tune in for next time as we will see the Warriors and the Nuggets for the last part. And the last matchup will be happening here in first game of the fourth versus the fifth seed of Dallas Mavericks and Utah Jazz and the Sixers versus the Chicago Bulls. We might see who can take it back on the other hand. Will it be the Eastern Conference Sixers with the defending champions of the 2021 NBA Finals? Or will it definitely be the more attack run to give it another try for the Chicago Wolves? And what will happen if there's Mavericks or Utah Jazz combining up with, the, with a sudden depth play? We'll find out next time after the game of the Warriors and Nuggets. That's happening here on tomorrow on Sunday. So thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone. For as a while as the NBA Playoff Dial and NBA 2K22 Dial. And this is me, Phone, along with Silver Spoon and Son of Beast. Thank you for joining us. Good night in Boston of Massachusetts.